This uh, Goldman Sachs uh, Marcus, apparently they are looking to try to help uh, consumers and or businesses manage debt a little bit more wisely. You had a chance to uh, take a look at, at this Marcus offering that, that they have, learn more about it. Uh, tell, tell me what your takeaways with Goldman Sachs and Marcus are. Well, the wealth management offering that they're coming up with is still very much a work in progress. Um, I spoke with one of their executives, and he said that it's not just going to be a robo advising platform. It's definitely going to have some sort of active component. And then I kind of asked him kind of more in depth where Marcus is going. They had mentioned a bunch of possible growth avenues, say mortgages, auto loans, checking accounts, things like that. And he said that even though they kind of have the capital and the ability to grow as fast as they want to, they're still just going to focus on their core businesses that they've had so far, which is online savings accounts and personal lending, both of which they feel have tremendous runway still. Um, they shared a couple of stats with me that uh, 70% of people in a recent survey don't know that you can pay off credit cards with personal loan proceeds. Uh, about 60% don't know what their savings account interest rate is. So they see a big opportunity with just educating the consumer and kind of building up the products that they already offer, um, and that they're going to kind of cautiously roll out new products as they see fit. Wealth management is just the next avenue. And while other things like mortgages, credit cards, things like that could be coming in the future, I wouldn't count on seeing any kind of accelerated timetable. I mean, you got to realize that Marcus itself is just about two years old. Um, as I was talking to them on that day, they had, they were celebrating um, two years since their first personal loan was issued. So they're still a very young platform, um, and are still trying to really establish their core competencies, and aren't really inclined to grow that fast. Well, I think I can get behind that. I mean, one thing that always just takes me a bit by surprise is is when you when you look at look at the bigger picture. I mean, a lot of people out there really just don't understand. How finance works. I mean, from something as basic to a checking account or a savings account to uh, taking out a loan, or even what what your what your taxes are going towards, how much you pay in taxes and filing taxes every year. I mean, I just have done a lot of research on this through the years, and um, I had the good fortune back in 2012, I think it was, to interview then Secretary of Education Arnie Duncan, and he agreed. I mean, really, the biggest hurdle to clear uh, in regard to Individuals in in the United States and in finance is just simple education, and in states aren't doing a good enough job of it through school systems. Um, it's not something where you can just say, "Okay, we're going to implement this nationwide uh, financial literacy program, and that'll take care of it." Uh, really, I mean, my observation, at least as a father, and 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 through what we do as, as uh, employees here, is it really all does start in the home. And, and the biggest problem there is when you're a parent and you don't know enough to teach your child or children about those basic financial concepts. Uh, then you're really stuck. So it certainly sounds like Marcus is uh, leaning more towards the education side and helping people make smarter decisions. And I think we we can all get behind that.